Hey. I need a dramatic intro like somebody else has. So if you're not following my friend Lorianne's page, you know, she starts out with, Hello, darlings. This is your lovely Loriana, your most favorite lunatic, or something like that. I don't have that kind of dramatic presence. I have a beautiful outside, though, and I have beautiful flowers blooming inside the nasturtiums, or narcissists, the paper whites. Here, let's see. The nasturtiums that I'm trying to winter over decided it was too cold in here the other day and wilted down, but this is what's blooming in my window. Anyway. So, actually, plastic. Let's talk about plastic. Because I do everything in my power to not buy plastics. I will pay double the price to get it in a glass jar, okay, versus buy it in a plastic jar. I do this on anything and everything I can come up with. The hubby taking over the shopping for the first six months didn't bother, but after about six months and the recycling bin and the bags, and he's like, why is there so much plastic? And I was like, because you're choosing the plastic option over the glass option or the metal option. So he's, he's actually started looking at that, and he came home the other day with this, I got this brand here, it's, it's not as good or it's not as cheap, but it's not in plastic. And I'm like, yeah, it still has plastic lid, but yeah. <laughs> Plastics. Because plastics. Because Journal of JAMA. I don't remember what it stands for right now because my brain is fuzzy. JAMA. Journal of American Medical Association. Something like that. Anyway, gold standard in medicine. Had an article a couple of days ago about microplastics plas passing the blood placenta barrier and being found in the womb of a neonatal baby, a, a, a fetus that was in danger of miscarrying because of the plastics that had gotten into the womb. Microfibers come from really, really fine glitter that isn't mica. Mica's okay. Mica is your um, cosmetic quality glitter. Plastic glitter is a totally different thing. Microfibers also come from your microfiber clothing. It breaks down and it sheds. And instead of household dust being dust mites, yeah, I need to dust, being dust mites, you get plastic in your household dust. Household dust is incredibly dangerous. Okay, somebody remind me in the future to do a video on that. Incredibly dangerous. Plastics. Plastics break down when, or microfibers happen when plastics break down. You ever have a water bottle that you use for a month and a half and it starts to get that opaque look and that crack, all those little cracks? It's shedding microplastics. Most plastics interfere with hormones on humans. Put saran wrap over your food and nuke it, it will test for, um, my brain's not as focused as it wants to be, so I'm not pulling up the specifics, but you can Google the basics and it's there. Don't put saran wrap or plastic over your food and microwave it, it's really bad for you. How's that? Anyway, there was an article about plastics crossing the placental barrier that caught my eye. The, the concept that the baby has glitter. So, I try to avoid plastics. Except I do art. And one of my favorite arts is beads. Clay beads. Um, polymer clay is plastic. The softening agent you can buy if your clay gets too hard is a plasticizer. It's plastics. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll paint. I do acrylics. I do fluid acrylics. I love to paint. Acrylic paint is plastic. That's all it is. 
it, it, it's plastic. I was talking about the pleather the other day, and pleather means plasticized leather on canvas. Modern pleather is on plastic on the backing as well, but it started out on canvas. Okay? And it's just what acrylic paint was invented for. Plastics. So I had the thought I was going to get into alcohol art, alcohol ink art, because I love the effects. And it looked cheaper than fluid acrylics, because fluid acrylics adds up really fast, even when you're buying cheap. Canvases add up really fast. I can do fluid acrylics onto paper and get some pretty decent effects. I may go back to doing that. The other thing with fluid acrylics is the amount of space required. And alcohol inks don't require as much space, and I should be able to get some really nice effects. So I started really looking into it. It is recommended that you do your alcohol inks on Upo paper. Upo paper is plastic. You can do it on glass or ceramic tile, but then that gets expensive and takes up a lot of space. I'll probably go back to gouache and watercolors because I can set up a station and work at it and then put it aside and it doesn't take up that much space. Probably. Or I'll keep doing what I'm doing. We'll see. I, I'm... I start these videos and I think I have a really, really solid idea and I've thought it through and I think I know what I'm going to say and I start talking and it's like, oh, that's a brain fade. Why can't I remember that word? Oh, that's a brain fade. Yeah. So, health update. See them? I took hardcore antihistamines for five days at the recommendation of a doctor to see if we couldn't get the swelling down and no. No, we didn't. More importantly, I slept for three... There, you can see it there. I'm trying to get the lighting to play because without the lighting, you can't see the swelling. You can feel the swelling. Absolutely. Right there. Anyway, um, to see if we couldn't get the swelling down that way and didn't do anything for the swelling. It did dry my lungs out. I had not was not aware of how wet my lungs were. And I slept for three days. I literally slept for 16 to 20 hours a day because of how potent the, the antihistamines were. Which is not my preferred way of existing, you know? Anyway, um, that's where that's at. The hair coming in weird because it's, it's not my hair, which is this is the, the fourth time this has happened to me where my hair has changed texture. That's a thyroid thing. It fucked with my hormones. So now I have this thicker, coarser, very flat hair all the way around the sides, which is why my hair was being so weird before I cut it, because I couldn't get it to do, and it's because the underlayer, probably an inch, was this instead of my normal hair. Anyway, that's that. I cooked myself breakfast. It was absolutely disgusting. I ate like five bites and went, you know, that's absolutely disgusting and quit eating. So, I used some leftover rice that had a cream sauce and shrimp and garlic. And I added some peas. And I heated it up on the pan and it was really gross, so I added a couple of eggs and scrambled it. And, yeah, I'm not even going to show you. It was really gross. Yeah, I hate it when I waste food. I really do. And it's not a I'm nauseated all the time hate it. D gross? It's just gross. I, I would think it was gross on a good day. So, speaking of bad days, the other day, okay, I, I started a menopausal period. The day before I started a mental menopausal period. The husband sits and reads a book. And when he's reading, he stems, but he's not aware that he's stemming. So, you'll be in the other room and you'll hear... Stop that! Okay! Stop that. Okay. Michael, would you stop making noise? I did. Michael, you need to be still or go in the other room and close the door. Okay. 
and this can go on for hours. I'm hoping that those sounds are picking up. I think they are. I'm hoping they are. Okay. I hypersensitize on sound. It's one of my OCD things, one of my autism things. I get really hypersensitive on repetitive sound. So he sits with a book in his hand, and he taps his foot. And he sits with the book in his hand, and he rubs his foot back and forth against the footrest. And he sits with the book in hand, and he clicks the paper with his thumbnail. And he sits with the book in his hand, and he starts stroking the book, which makes this it's it, every time it's just a little bit lighter okay because he's trying to find a threshold that he can get away with so about the fifth time I'm like if you don't stop that I'm gonna shove that book up your face go in your room and close your door or go some go outside and read and he gets up and we're looking around the house and I'm like I can still hear it and he goes it's not me I'm like, not this time but I can still hear it he's like I can't hear anything that's like Ch -ch -ch -ch. Totally random sound. Isolated to the kitchen. Stand here. It sounds almost like a fly bumping in the light. You know what a fly bumping in the light sounds like? But a lot lighter. And it's coming from the window. So we both move up to the window and we're just standing there listening. And the flowers are propped up with a string because they were starting to fall over. And it's the Narcissist flower bundle pushing past the string. Okay. I kid you not. It's the plant growing. And it's audible. It's it's very... I'm, I like turned to Michael and I was like, you can hear that, right? And he's like, yeah, I can hear it. I don't know how you heard it in the other room because I was in the other room. I'm like, I... And he goes, you just freaked out about a plant growing. And I'm like, oh, well, it's making noise. Make it stop. So, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. The last time I had that bad of an OCD on a repetitive sound, it was a clock ticking in the house. Because he slips clocks in that tick. And ticking clocks can drive me nuts. If they're loud. And there was a tick, 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 tick. You have a clock in here. No, I don't. Tick, 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 tick. I can hear a clock playing as day. I don't have a clock in here. Is there a clock in the basement? Oh, oops. Goes down and gets it. A couple of weeks later. Tick, 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 tick. I can hear your clock. Tick, tick. No. Tick, 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 tick. Michael, there's a clock in here. No, there's not. Tick, 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 tick. Walk around, walk around, walk around. Okay, this box from your parents' place is making ticking noises. Either it's a bomb or there's a clock in there. Oh, I forgot about that clock. A couple of months later. Tick, 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 tick. There is a clock in here. No, there's not. Michael, I can hear a clock. Tick, tick, tick. Move around. I can only hear it in front of the kitchen sink. I can't hear it from anywhere else in the house. That's really weird. Go out to do the laundry on the porch really hear the clock. Michael, there's a fucking clock in here. He goes out. I don't have a clock. He goes downstairs. He goes out. He goes all around. Everything. Three days of driving me nuts. Anytime I go to stand at the kitchen sink, I can hear a clock ticking. Anytime I go out to the laundry, I can hear the clock ticking. Tick, 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 tick. He's convinced it's over at the neighbor's house that I'm complaining about the neighbor's clock. Tick, 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 tick. Go down the stairs, out in the backyard. Tick, 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 tick. I can hear it plain as day. Can you not hear? I can't hear it. I can hear it. It was in the garage. He had taken the clock I had complained about and taken it out in the garage and put it within line of sight of the kitchen window so he could look out the kitchen window and see the clock. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Princess and the pea shit, you know? Anyway, it's 15 minutes. I'm rambling. So, hope you had a good holiday. Drop a line, drop a comment, say hi. We're on, today is the Feast of the Children, I think. Coptic.
I think it's Child or Mask today. I'll have to look. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.